take out the trash. Hello, Chris, did you take out the trash? You obviously don't know me, you screw up! I'm never having kids. I would never want my kids to feel how I feel. But how can I make them feel any other way when this is all I know? Get the door, Chris! Hey! Victoria? Hi! Oh, I missed you. You're coming. Yeah, surprise. Come in. Come in. Get your stuff. So, how's school? You got a boyfriend? School's fine. I don't have a boyfriend. How about you? Yeah, I got someone. Really? Yeah. Is he a good guy? What do you mean? I mean, is he anything like Dad? No. I'm pretty sure he'll stick around. <laughs> How's college going? It's fine. Anything's better than home, right? Are you looking at colleges? Just a few. Nice. How's Mom? She's fine. Just fine? Yeah, it's mom, you know, she's just... No, yeah, I know, I just mean... No, I'm, are you... I'm okay. Okay, good. How long are you here for? As long as I need to be. Listen, I'm gonna order the Uber, though, because we still need to pick up dinner. You ready? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I forgot how pricey L.A. is. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, so I had to convince my college professor to give me a better grade. You didn't have to sleep with him, did you? Yeah, actually, I did, Mom. It was great. So the professor, does he live up to your university standards? Yeah, I guess so. Remember the name Professor Gibbler? Chris. Why would she need to remember that? For when she goes to... Never mind. So here you're a vegetarian now, Mom. You made pasta. It's undercooked. I should have made it. Well, you didn't. We did. Oh, excuse me, do I have to make every meal for you? You're fucking 20 years old, you don't even know how to boil water to make pasta. You didn't teach me how to make pasta. I taught myself. Oh, I have to teach you everything. Is that it? Oh, you haven't taught us anything. What was that? Nothing. No, no. Mom, what was that, young lady? Nothing. Yeah, that's right, nothing. <sighs> Disgusting. No, you know what? Chris. Why shouldn't I tell my own mother what I think? Oh, because I should respect you, right? What have you ever done except for think about yourself? Oh. No, no, with Vic being gone, I do everything around here. Mm, mm-hmm. You make me scared. Scared for myself? Scared for my future? Don't act like you ever taught me anything. Everything I learned, I taught myself. Oh, you know what you did teach me? You taught me a perfect example of what not to be. Nice one, Mom. Real nice. Don't you ever talk to me like that in my, in my house ever again! Hey, you okay?
Hey, Chris, I'm gonna go out, okay? Call me if you need anything. Sorry that I'm not. It's maybe if you could just stop fucking me. You don't even fucking care about us. Oh, look at our beautiful family. Vic, what are you doing? Why are you even painting this shit anyway? Are you drunk? Drunk? Are you drunk? Are you drunk? No, Chris, I'm not drunk. Are you, do you need some water or something? You don't need to I... take care of me, Chris. I'm not five. And I'm not thirsty either. What did you do to my painting? What? Oh, now I'm the monster in this house? Vic, what are you oh, talking you about? college is an escape, Chris? You think once you get out of here, it's just blue skies? Let me tell you something, sweetie. It's not an escape. It's just a distraction. You need to leave. I'm not going anywhere. You need to leave. Get out! Get out! Chris. Chris. Don't. I'm sorry. Chris. I'm really sorry. It's fine. Just promise me you'll take the advice you gave me and apply it to yourself. Check in again, because you haven't been answering your phone. Also, I haven't seen you in a while. It's been a weird transition for me. College. But you know, anything's better than home, right? Uh, anyway, let me know how you've been, because I've been missing you. Let's catch up. Let me know where you are. Call me back. I love you. Bye. I'm never having kids. I would never want my kids to feel how I feel. But how could I make them feel any other way when this is all I know? Family plays a big role in my life. At first, I thought the stereotypical type of family was the only one that existed. But I've learned, family is what you make of it. And even if they don't always show their love, you know it's always there.